Hello folks, hello in a slightly different setup today, no face, which I'm sure is probably a good thing. Yeah, so here today, a very quick video to talk about Record Store Day Drops 2020, specifically this one here, August 29th, because these, these dates haven't been here yet, and unless you have a DeLorean, you haven't got any of the drops from these. Yeah, Record Store Day, the first year that I decided to go out, early in the morning and try and queue up and get some records that I wanted that dropped that were really cool and I totally, totally failed at it. Uh, some people were camping out the night before. I thought maybe they were just, you know, in the minority, but I turned up bright and early about half seven and the queues were massive. I totally, you know, underestimated how busy it is for Record Store Day. But it was my first time ever going um, I've learned from my mistake and kudos to all of you troopers that queued up for hours to get your favourite record. I hope you all got what you wanted. I actually shot, we shot a full vlog for it um, that I have since deleted. There was no point using any of the vlog. Um, <laughs> it was just me wandering about Glasgow and then not queuing up. I had other stuff to do that day so I couldn't wait. But... That doesn't mean I didn't get a few things, and I do just mean a few, three, in fact. At 6pm, they went online and I got a few from that that I'm going to show today. Only one I got in this bag, I got this today actually, but I thought I'd put them all in the bag because it looks, looks quite nice. So what is Record Store Day? Well, Record Store Day is the one day of the year, well, in this case, a few, where over 200 independent record shops all across the UK come together to celebrate vinyl, to celebrate music, to celebrate records and usually a lot of special edition releases are made exclusively for Record Store Day and lots of shops and different websites you will have performances and events to mark the occasion. Obviously this year it's a bit different because of coronavirus but I will say to the play two out of the three of these are from local independent record shops in Glasgow uh, Love Music and Monorail and big credit to both of them, the lines and the way they handled social distancing was incredible. Two thumbs up, <laughs> um, they, they absolutely smashed it, everyone was dead respectful from what I've seen and what I've watched online and videos um, and it looked like a great time and there's even more buzz about the other two drops so hopefully we can get more involved for the next two. Yeah, I want to show you what I got, um, three different records here, all coloured, so it might make a bit of an interesting video. So we're going to jump right in to the first one that I got. Here is the first one I got, Cat Stevens, but I might die tonight, um, from the movie, so the movie version, from the movie Deep End, and also the album version that was on T for the Tillerman, one of my favourite albums of all time so when i seen this wee boy i just absolutely had to get it i love cat stevens and actually i'm sure this month or next i think it's the 50 year anniversary of t for the tillerman and he is bringing out an album that is re-recordings of every track on it like a special edition i have it pre-ordered and i can't wait for that to arrive so i thought i would add to my collection of cat steven things with this as well if you haven't heard but I Might Die Tonight, good good thing to listen to. The album, the movie version from the picture Deep End is pretty different to the album version. So if I've only heard the album version before, I would, I would jump in and try and find that movie version. So we're gonna have a quick look at this. So as you might have read from the front, this is a blue, blue vinyl there. Very pretty, as you'd expect for some of these, you know, special edition releases for Record Store Day. You know, they always nail a nice wee coloured vinyl. So that's there. Right, so that's the first one I managed to get online. But I might die tonight, Cat Stevens. Moving on to our second. Oh, and I will mention that Cat Stevens one I got from Monorail in Glasgow. Um, so thanks very much, guys, for sending out. Nice, quick delivery. Brilliant. Whoosh! Here's the second one, the one that I went and got today from one of my favourite record shops in Glasgow, Love Music. Um, that is where I, would, I originally attended to go and queue up, 
but I was far too late. The, the lines were too big and I was too busy that day. But thankfully they still had a few select things left over and one of them was this Gary Clark Jr's Pearl Cadillac. The both versions, the radio edit and the extended version on the radio edit as Andra Day sings with them and then the extended um, as well. Oh no, it's both Andra Day. I think the album version is only Gary Clark Jr singing um, but the version to get is the one where Andra Day is singing as well because it's like a duo part in the song so it's like they're singing to each other it's really good so when i seen this i had to get it it's an incredible incredible single that he released a great album as well that it's from and when i seen this i just had to get it it's very very pretty we will take it out i've actually not opened this um, i'm not long in actually from visiting you know if you if you're from glasgow or this area you know what are your favorite record shops i'm from paisley but Obviously Glasgow is my stop. So as you can see, very pearl, pearlescent uh, vinyl for the Gary Clark Jr. one. Still a few of these left online, I'm sure. Um, I will talk at the end about the ones that I couldn't get that I wanted, but very, very, very pretty indeed. So yeah, that's Gary Clark Jr.'s Pearl Cadillac. Last but certainly not least is the main one that I wanted this record shop day. We have U2's 11 o'clock tick tock. I'll take the bag away for this. Cool bag as well, I will say. Cool bag, keep that. Remember it, because definitely a bit of a different record shop experience this year because of the lockdown and everything that's happening with the world. We can always share in that, but music's something we still all have together. So yeah, this was the main purchase I wanted to make from this record shop, a uh, record store day. You two are my favourite bands. Yes, don't worry, I've been to music college. I'm used to all the slaggings because of that. So you can't say anything that's going to hurt my feelings now. But when I seen this drop for Record Store Day, I had to get it. Um, most shops that I went to, I couldn't find it. Um, but thankfully, there was one shop in Soho, London, that still had it online. Sister Ray's Records. In London they even had a wee handwritten note saying thank you for buying it um, so big up to those guys as well thanks very much it's great you had it in stock I was dead excited again nice fast swift delivery um, so yeah this is the probably the biggest kind of purchase I made used to 11 o'clock TikTok for those who don't know that was a song off of their first album their album boy so what makes this a bit more special um, as well as the side A have an 11 o'clock TikTok and touch. Side B is a now, up until now previously unreleased live recording, live at the marquee 1980, and it's them doing Touch and Twilight. Twilight is a great, great song. This is a great, great version of it as well, live, both of them. How young they were at one point. And this is a gatefold LP. Hopefully that's in shot. I can't actually see my camera, but I'm just hoping that we're in shot here and everything's cool and you can have a little look of that. So yeah, you two, one of my favourite bands of all time, uh, especially their dead early stuff and you don't get much more early than their kind of first album. Um, always great to hear a unreleased, previously unreleased live track. Um, it's always a treat. And this, much like the Cat Stevens, we have another blue vinyl to deal with today, but we have a deep blue deep blue something except not them it is beautiful i'll say the shade of blue hopefully i'm catching that in the ring light here and it's, it's showing up nicely um but it is a stunning shade of blue um not sure if that is showing up there but again beautiful beautiful colored vinyl and i'm very very glad that i managed to get it so yeah that's that's the third that i got so there you go folks, that's the three that I managed to get. There's loads more there, but unfortunately my wallet isn't never ending, so I had to choose selectively a few. One of the main ones that I wanted that I couldn't get was Giorgio Moroder and Kylie Minogue's right here, right now. Um, their single was out for that. It was a nice, lovely coloured vinyl again. Um, but unfortunately, they went so quickly and a quick rant, very annoyingly, scalpers we hate scalpers people that buy a record from record store day or any limited press for the one sole reason to sell it again online at an astronomical price so some people on ebay are trying to sell 
the Georgian Marauder singer, single, which was eleven ninety nine for record store day in the shops. And there's some on eBay going for as much as £200. Anywhere from the lowest I've seen is about £70 all the way to 200 It is ridiculous for something. It was eleven ninety nine. You know, we don't mind if you have a record that's worth money and you eventually end up selling it. But buying it just for the sole purpose of selling it on 5, 6, 7, 10 times the price or whatever um, is just ridiculous. Don't do it. Don't be that guy or girl or whatever. Don't be that person that does that. Um, but if anyone has one and they do want to get rid of it, I will pay up to about 20 quid for it. <laughs> but yeah, there's three records that I got for Record Store Day. Hopefully we'll be a bit more involved for the September drop and the October drop as well. And hopefully we can get a few more cool things. Hope you've all been doing good and I'll catch you later. Bye.